Leo, welcome to your singles reading for January. This is Mary. This is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome. Returning, thank you so much for coming back. So this is a reading for Leo, and you do have to be single. So I'm changing the format of this reading just a little bit. If you saw my past singles reading, um, this spread is going to be a little bit different. Um, if you're new and you're wondering what my old spread looked like, you can check the description box below and uh, for the Leo playlist and you can check out my past reading and this reading and see which you like which way you like better and you can leave me some comments in the description box below if you prefer this format or if you rather have me go back to the other format totally up to you but I have this idea so I'm gonna give it a try so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at you know a couple zodiac signs like I usually do we're gonna get an opening energy with this deck and I'm going to put an energy here and an energy here. And I guess, Leo, you can decide which side is you. And we'll pull some tarot around that energy. And then we'll bring it together in the middle and see how these energies will come together. And then we'll look at connective energy. So this could be somebody that uh, you don't even know. It could be someone totally new coming into you. It could be somebody you're just friends with or somebody uh, you like and you're not sure if they like you or maybe they don't even know who you are. So you do have to be actually single so this is for singles so if you are connected to somebody um you may want to watch the love connection reading i do i just put all of those out so leo yours is out and again all your uh playlists are down below in the description box so you could go check that out so let's get started for leo welcome leos hope everybody's doing well so let's see what's going on with leo singles and i do say at this time this will be out before january so it's intended for whenever you see this i do consider all my readings timeless even though they're dated so again your playlists are below if you like to watch past readings and there's a lot of other information down there how to reach out for personal reading uh decks i'm using social media i do readings on instagram tons of stuff down there so please do feel free to check that out so let's get a couple opening signs for you leo a couple opening signs for leo singles please at this time spirit thank you so much okay that one to fly and that one let's see what we got so we have capricorn earth sign and we have venus which is libra and virgo and this is the planet of love, so that is love. So we have Capricorn, Virgo, and Libra. So now let's get some main energy around you, Leo. Maybe you're not even aware of, or maybe this could be the energy you're in, or the possible energy of the person coming into you, or your possible connective energy. Just going to see how that goes so let's get right you know what? i'm gonna take that one because that one wanted to fly and it just didn't so we have gaia wisdom knowledge spiritual understanding so and we have five which is about change so i'm feeling a lot of wisdom and spiritual um, knowledge and connection and understanding and a very like grounding uh like a this is Mother Earth Gaia, so a very grounding, nurturing kind of energy. Very, like, stable and grounded. So, okay, that could be you. That could be a person. That could be the connective energy. So I'm going to pull an energy on this side and an energy on that side. And I usually, you know, say this side's Leo, you know, when I do my love connection. But this is a little bit different than the love connection reading. So um, I guess pick a side. Whatever side you resonate with, then that'll be your side. So we'll get an energy over here and an energy over here. So over here we have attachment, letting go, restriction, and fear. Eight. Eight is, uh, you know, movement, travel, action. Kind of reminds me of the Eight of Cups energy. So this side could have possibly been like a codependent um, energy or relationship. And finally, you know, letting go. I'm like, walk, this side may have walked away from a very codependent um, energy. And we have the message, positive news, positive outcome. So, and then we have eight and two, which is 10. And then 10 is one, a new beginning. So over here, we have like a new beginning and a message 
coming in of good news and a good outcome, possibly a new beginning. So, I mean, this could be somebody you know, but have never been romantically connected with or anything like that. Okay, so let's see what we have here underneath. 41, Amethyst, Transformation, Certainty, Confidence. And 41 to 5, again, is with the change and with transformation. And so I feel like there's a lot of transformation here. A lot of transformation. It just could be, you know, you, if you've been through something and now you gained your confidence, feeling much more stable and grounded with the Gaia energy, let go of codependent energy, or that could be your person's energy. But then we have message over here, positive news and a positive outcome. So, hmm, I don't know. We'll see. So I'm going to get some energy around this side, some energy around that side. So let's get some energy around attachment on this side. For Leo, please, Spirit, thank you. So we have the Three of Swords. Yeah, exactly. So that's heartbreak. Heartbreak pain um, kind of energy. I'm feeling these two right here. So we have the Eight of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune. Wow, so this is things going in a better direction. And here's that communication. And then we got the message over here, which again is about communication. So this is something going in a better direction. And that communication coming in. So somebody could be sending you communication and this is you receiving that communication. And now things are going in a better place. And this does say positive outcomes. So, I mean, this could be over here, somebody that you know. Um, but I feel, I do feel like on this side, this side, I think, has let go of some sort of energy from the past. I mean, it may not be like recent, recent. It could be you know, somewhat in the past, a few years ago or something, maybe even up to three years ago. Maybe you've been single for a while, but now you're ready for change. You're ready for some fiery, passionate action, communication, things going in a better direction. So let's get some energy on this side. So we have the five of cups, sadness, loneliness, hurt, sorrow, and the, wow, eight of swords. So Wow, let's get another one over here. That's like mental blockages over here. And the Three of Pentacles. So this person on this side, <laughs> I feel like has been blocked off. I mean, this could be somebody you know. Um, I do intend this to be for like maybe somebody totally new coming in or it could be somebody you think you have a connection with. Um, but you do have to be single, so so I'm feeling this side over here because they got the three of pentacles was about working together, teamwork, collaboration. I feel like, you know, they've been sad and lonely. They've had mental blockages, but now they want to work together, come together, and they're ready to send out a message. We got messages over here. So let's get, uh, let's get a few more energies before we see uh, how this comes together. Hmm. So we got the six of wands. So this is, uh, no, the seven of wands. So this is being a little defensive and on guard. So let's get another one on this side. <laughs> oh my God, now we got temperance over here. So we got a lot of Sagittarius energy here. And I know the opening energy here was Capricorn, Libra, Virgo. But we have um, two cards of Sagittarius now. So I feel like they this side has balanced out their energy. And now they're wanting to work together. So if you've never been connected to this person, uh, I don't know, maybe you've liked them or um, and you're not even sure, you know, how they felt about you. You know, maybe you never said anything. You kind of liked them from afar and maybe you thought they liked you. I don't know, whatever your situation here, I feel like um, this person, I think, is coming out of their mental blockages and now they're wanting to come together send a message and they've balanced themselves out um heal themselves with the temperance energy but for some reason you're a little bit in a defensive energy here the seven of wands 
it's like you're ready, like you want something to come in, you want things to get better, you want communication, but yet then you put kind of like a block up for some reason. So I don't know if you're in an energy of, yes, I want it, and then all of a sudden you get scared and you get that fear and then you put a block up here to protect your heart with the Seven of Wands energy. Or I'm saying you, or this side could be you, um, however you resonate, whoever's watching this for Leo. So let's see how this energy will come together. I mean, we do have pentacles over here. So you could have met them at work. Um, trying to get an energy of like maybe how you met this person. Uh, they could work in finances with the pentacle energy there. Um, they could be just a very spiritual person. See. let's see how this energy will come together for leo well we got the queen of cups energy so cups is summer so this cup could come together in the summer but the queen of cups king or queen doesn't matter is about love emotions and feelings i think feelings will be shared because i see like two people uh here with the cup in the middle so i think finally feelings and you see the sagittarius card here with the cup pouring out and the cup is here so i feel like it could be summertime you either meet this person or you finally come together with this person you know feelings emotions being shared and that kind of energy all right let's see or you could have met them um i'm just looking at the temperance card here it has like a book um, and like the goblets, maybe like a church or some sort of spiritual or religion, a religious outing or get together or something like that group. All right. So the high priestess, let's get three. So yeah, I feel like it could have been like a secret a secret crush you've had on this person or you've secretly had feelings for each other and never said anything to each other the magician wow and the page of pentacles so here's an offer coming in uh with the pentacle energy so i mean things could get more serious with uh the pentacle energy but that would be in the fall time and we have the magician here of, you know, it manifesting one brand new beginning, this manifesting forward. And I feel like, I feel like you both secretly have feelings for each other. You couldn't know this person um, and never said anything. And now the magician, it's manifesting a brand new beginning. I feel like summer, something will happen in the summer and things will get more serious in the fall. And I know that seems like a long time away but we have cups cups we have a lot of cups here wands is springtime so the communication could come in in the springtime and maybe you might start talking in the spring and then things might get a little more serious in the summer and then even more serious in the fall you know so all right so you might start to get to know this person uh oh my <laughs> we got the ten of cups on the ten of cups Oh my God, Ten of Cups on the Ten of Cups. Are you serious right now? This deck has two versions of the Ten of Cups and they both just fell out together. That is just crazy. So you're both going to be in that Ten of Cup energy and I feel like that'll be summertime. I mean, some could even get proposed to um, in the fall. I mean, you could start dating in the spring because we do have a lot of wands um, over here. So communication could come in in the springtime. And spring isn't really that far away. I mean, we're almost in the winter. Um, and, and, you know, dating in the spring and then maybe a little more serious in the summer. In the sum, the Page of Pentacles could be, you know, something solid there. So it could be, I don't know, living together or being totally committed, proposal. I mean, it could be anything here. And then both being in this energy of the Ten of Cups, total happiness, joy, love, fulfillment in every single way. Wow. Okay, so we do have like this Three of Pentacle energy over here. So if this is somebody you just met, I mean, you could have just met them 
like now or like this fall time because we are almost into uh, winter I think in a few days here so all right so let's get king of swords so that's very uh, truthful energy here so I feel like and that's winter I mean you could even receive a message this winter because now this is like king coming out as a king and that's the um, air energy Libra as we had with Venus over there and Capricorn over here is the pentacles so I mean they could be delivering the message this winter and maybe you may start corresponding back and forth or maybe just hanging out as friends or whatever getting to know one another or something like that but I think fall into summer and then no, <laughs> spring into into summer and then into fall. Um, but, you know, this is truth, clarity, clear thinking, um, very open, honest conversations kind of energy. Hmm. So let's see what's on the back bottom of the deck. Now we have the King of Pentacles. So, I mean, you could have a choice between two, an air sign and an earth sign, as we do have Capricorn here. And over there is Libra and uh, Virgo. So uh, you could have a choice between, in Virgo, Capricorn are both Earth, Libra's air. So you may have a choice between two people. Or are they coming through in both these energies? So you could have both energies in their chart. Someone very, could be somebody that works in finances. Or somebody um, that works in the legal system or in the armed forces. Or... Um, you know a police officer or something like that wow so we got the king two kings here so we got the four of cups so i feel like people sad and lonely kind of blah and bored in their life but then all of a sudden coming together having having a good time the three of cups energy and then look at that we got the lovers so coming together as lovers here coming together as lovers three of cups celebrating having a good time going out you know, after a feeling here, bored for a while. And coming through is the King of Swords and the King of Pentacles. So, like I said, some it could be two choices or this could be this person coming in. Um, they could be somebody that works in the um, legal field or something like that in some way. But they're very, very abundant with the King of Pentacles energy. Or there's somebody who's very uh, smart, analytical, works in finances or something like that. Owns their own business but they're very, very uh, level-headed, have a lot of uh, clear thinking, and they're very sharp with their mind and uh, very truthful and honest energy. And I and I just saw the Ace of Cups. So there's the Ace of Cups spirit. Just, and there's that truthful communication with the Page of Swords. Brain will be getting in love with the Ace of Cups and coming through with the Knight of Cups, uh, taking that action in love. So we do have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Uh, let's see here. Gemini, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn over here. Although the main energy over there was Capricorn and Libra and Virgo. But for the other signs, we have Heavy Sagittarius, um, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Gemini, Virgo, Cancer, Pisces, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So, all right. So let's get some closing. So I hope you like this style. Uh, Leo, we're going to get some closing messages with this deck here. This deck here. And with the Gaia there, I mean, it could be just a very spiritual connection. And with, a, you know, creativity, confidence, and a transformation over there. I mean, you may transform each other's lives. You got the sun right there. For, you know, total happiness and joy in every single way. Enlightenment, growth, expansion, success and victory. Everything positive with the sun. Wow, okay. So let's see here. Leo. So if you do like uh, how I read Leo, please do like, share, subscribe, comment. Um, we're going to pull some messages with this deck to close it out. And um, if you do subscribe, hit the bell. You won't miss out. I do four readings a month. I do a singles, a love connection, um, a tarot forecast, and I do a spiritual reading every month. And I've also just started a new reading, which is an element energy forecast for the week. 
So if you don't want to miss out, uh, hit the bell. You won't miss out. And thank you, everybody, for your support. It truly means a lot to me. So we have the moon energy here, which is 50. And five, again, with the change energy. So the moon uh, can represent um, deep feelings, emotions. So let me see. I just want to read a little bit about the moon. I think that's the last card in the deck. Yeah, it is. Okay, you got the last card in the deck here. When you choose the symbol of the moon as your guide, you know it is necessary to look beyond the obvious to know the truth of things. Sometimes people will say one thing and you have a weird feeling that they <coughs> mean something else altogether. You have this power. You are being asked to use it now. Choose another card for a deeper look at what's really going on behind the scenes. Well, this person, I feel like you had mutual feelings and no one ever said anything to one another is with the moon is not seeing things clearly, not knowing all the facts, things being kept secret. But with the 50, five is all about change. Five there, change. 10, one, new beginning. And then we have uh, five over there with change. So something changing here. So said to get one more card. So let's see what that one more card is. So we have playful, 44. 44 is uh, very uh, stable. Uh, number and so I think this is going to be a very sta stable connection and it's going to be very joyous and playful have a lot of fun together and to uh, be in that energy so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck high priestess of air so high priestess of air and that is number six a six is about going into a more healing balanced place 44 uh, you wouldn't really add that together. It's a double number. But if you did, you get eight. And that's about, you know, taking action and uh, movement forward. What am I looking up here? I'm looking up High Priestess of Air. Logical thinking, reason, and using your mind to consider the next right action are the qualities encouraged by my vampire High Priestess of Air. Now is the time to think before you act. You are blessed with a wondrous mind and imagination. Your ability to communicate is enhanced when you meet the high priestess of air. This is the moment to have reasonable conversations and make calculated decisions again. And we get the message over here. We got messages here. Page of Pentacles, messages there. So yeah, a lot of, lot of uh, truthful, honest uh, communication here. Coming in for you, Leo. Good luck to you, Leo. Sending you the best. And... Wishing you many light, love, and blessings, and don't forget to shine your light.